Hey there, uh, thank you for joining me and old mate Basil here for uh, another, because I'm still a bit unwell, another video that is um, fairly easy to, to spit out. It's an everyday carry video. So these are just things I've been having uh, in my pockets in the last little while. I'm also going to finish, I'm um, going to go through a, uh, a video review of the GoPro Hero moment uh, at the request of a, um, a viewer. So. Um, I'll talk a bit about that as well. So let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, first of all, uh, my watch is still the Victorinox uh, INOX watch. Very very tough uh, watch. Um, well, tough in a sense. It can be frozen. It can be you know run over with a car or that sort of thing. Um, the stainless steel um, bezel, bezel of it, whatever, um, is fairly dent prone. Uh, that's one other thing I have noticed. I'll put some up close photos of it as I'm speaking. Um, a great thing is the sapphire glass. It shows you how resilient that glass is. Like the um, the cuff around it, it was all scratched, but the glass is still just like immaculate. So really, really good. It's on a leather band that it came with, which is starting to get some good old peat stank on. I wear it pretty much, I'd say, 18 hours a day, every day. Um, and yeah, it's getting pretty. It's uh, it's got a fair bit of my DNA in it there. That's for sure. So there's that. There. Um, next thing is this pen. Uh, this pen is the Karis Customs Render K pen. So this one was sent to me by a viewer. I think I, I gave him a backpack in a contest and he sent me this. Um, and it was very, very, very cool. And out of all the Karis Customs pens, this is probably my favorite one for everyday carry. I like the screw cap because you can't accidentally start filling your pocket with ink. So very, very cool. Um, just got a Schmidt Easy Flow in there. Just a nice little screw cap. The, the cap doesn't post, so it's something you need to get used to. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a good old, uh, just very nice standard pen. So I like that one a lot too. Yeah. Um, my wallet is still the Offine Mir, um, just the sim simple gun deck wallet. That's all, just to hold this stuff, man. Worst gear holding cat ever. Um, Offine Mir gun deck wallet, very, very simple construction, just like one piece of leather just folded over in a certain way and then stitched along here. Very thin, I sit on my wallet, so I don't like it to be any thicker than that. So very, very cool. Um, my keys, I've got my keys, I guess. Um, my keys have, I've gone back to the Surefire Titan. I preferred it over the Sidekick. The Sidekick was just a little bit too big. Still got the Sidekick, I might give that away even at some point soon. Um, and I just carry tweezers on my key ring as well, as I've said, for um, pulling out those pesky ear hairs as I showed you last time. So that's my keys, nothing else special. I had to drive a Honda or a Lancer, so carry those as well. Uh, my phone is an Apple iPhone uh, 8. It's um, got an OtterBox cover on it and just the screen now. The screen's actually fairly resilient. Picture of old wifey there. 26%, um, it's a decent phone. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. I do wish that had a bit of a better um, variety of apps or just, you know, I can see why the Google people are like, or the Android people like, you know, you can like get your emulators and play your old games, all that cool stuff. But as, as long as you're not super, you know, as long as you're happy to run in a pretty confined system, it's a system that runs pretty well. So it's my, my phone is the Apple iPhone 8. Knives, knives, knives. Of course we get the knives last. Um, my Benchmade 940 has pretty much been this and my other knife I'm about to talk about, the only things I've been carrying. Uh, the 942, this one is, I think I correctly called it the one last time. Um, I got the deep carry clip, a buddy of mine had a spare set of deep carry clips, so I put the silver one on because I like how it matches the blade. The deep carry, you know, it's not, someone asked me, it's not a huge difference really, it's not a, um, it doesn't really make or break the knife, but I like that, a little extra depth. <coughs> Sorry. And um, I like the silver, I prefer the silver than the black that gets gradually scratched up. Uh, the 940 is probably my favorite knife pattern. This and the Spidey Chef are about neck and neck, um, just in terms of, they're quite different, but just in terms of being super thin and slim. Um, and you know, it's fine steel, it's got great action. I just love how it looks. It's a massive part of it. I mean, you have to admit it's a massive part of anything, really. Um, it's a really solid knife and just a really good knife. And it's expensive and it's, you know, the value might not be there, but if you just love the pattern, then you love the pattern. There's not much you can do about it. So that is my uh, everyday carry knife. And then um, my other knife that I've been carrying is this, um, my Creely Blades Mako in CPM Rex 121. And I'm doing this as like a video for the channel to see how 121 handles with just, I'm not maintaining it. I'm not putting anything on it. And geez, it's gone pretty well so far. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just seeing how this gets maintained and how it performs over just 
using it as my everyday carry blade when I'm around the home. So I'm not going to be carrying a sheath, a, a sheath fixed blade around town. It's just Australia is just not that knife friendly. But um, this is a great sheath for everyday carry. You just put it in your pocket, and um, the knife seems to find home once you build up the muscle memory for it pretty well. So. Really, really good. I'm loving the knife, the general knife pattern. I'll do a review and a Rex 121 summary in another couple of weeks once I've worked out. You know, once I can be sure that it is, you know, I can pretty much vouch for it that it's a good steal, but we'll see. Something weird could still happen, so you never know. But in terms of edge retention, it's the boss. So there we go there. Um, now, yes, yeah, so the GoPro um, Hero Moment. Uh, this is a small, this is like the cheapest GoPro you can get. Uh, it's got, um, it comes with just the stand, um, and you can obviously just buy those GoPro accessory boxes from China for like 20 bucks, which is what I did, came with this pretty dinky little tripod, but you know, it's fine. Um, this isn't a particularly good GoPro. It's fine for me as a support camera, but if I was after a main GoPro, I wouldn't get this one. Um, it's just, it, it only shoots that super wide fisheye lens type. You can go square, but then it cuts off a bit more than you'd think. Um, it's just super basic. It is just point and shoot, and it's about the quality of maybe a, you know, a sixth or a seventh generation iPhone camera. I noticed my iPhone 8 camera is better than this GoPro can muster, um, especially now that iPhones have a really good slow motion camera as well. This can go to so you turn it on, um, and it just starts. Well, it's got an SD card at the moment, but when you push this option button at the back. You can cycle through to uh, the, the settings you want. So right now I've got it as high res it can, as it can get, so 440 um, resolution. And then you've got, um, so you go camera settings, enter. So you can change it from 440, 1080, 30 frames per second, 960 or 720. And then you can go 100 frames a second or, sorry, or wide, or you can go 720, 1440 at uh, 30, yeah, you can just sort of mess around with it. But yeah, optimum is um, a 1080 at 60 frames a second is pretty crisp, like that's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, I'll um, I'll just show you some comparison shots in a second of it, because it's, so yeah, it, it's fine. The one thing about GoPro is the sound is incredibly tinny. So definitely if you're doing YouTube, support camera only, yeah? That's all. Ah, oh, what a bad kitty. Naughty, naughty cat. I don't think he cares. Um, yeah, so as a, as a YouTuber's camera, it's probably not the best, I would suggest that. But anyway, stand by for some um, some comparison shots as I sort of run down the video, okay? So yeah, um, you pay, you don't pay much, you pay like $200. It's indestructible, pretty much. You can just throw this and this can just sit in the bucket of water for like a day and it's fine. All very much, um, you know, shored up and secured. I've, had the, I've been running this for about a year now. And um, yeah, I take it out with me. It's fallen over heaps. It's the front glass has been smacked against rocks and all seems to be pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just fine. It's, it's a fine support camera for getting that extra shot that you can just prop there and you know, it's, you hit go and as long as you get a big SD card, it's fine. But yeah, definitely not your main GoPro. Uh, get a proper GoPro Hero if you want. If GoPro is the way you want to shoot, I wouldn't suggest this. Um, I would suggest just spend that extra sort of 150 bucks and get something really nice. And then you, that way you'll have like a screen at the back and options. This really is just a camera that just tells you how long it's been shooting for at the top. So there you go, just my thoughts. Um, but yeah, it's it's fine, but I probably wouldn't get it again if I was to get it again. But as it is, I'll still use it, of course. All right. So yeah, that is my everyday carry. Um, I. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you like um, everyday carry videos because I tend to do one every month or so. And um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully my assistant is a bit more helpful next time. All right, so this is Basil in um, 1440, the highest resolution that the GoPro can get. 30 frames per second. I'm just talking at a normal level so you'll see how my voice is recorded and whatnot. This is our friend Basil at uh, 1080 frames, uh, sorry, 1080 resolution, 60 frames per second. You can really catch the action packed nature of this cat and his go anywhere, do anything spirit.
This is old fat butt poo face basil at um, 720 at 100 frames per second. And this is iPhone 8, fat butt, dick face, butt face, poo bum basil. Ooh. Having a bit of a stretch. Just realized it was covered in my entire EDC maybe. Goodness me, to think these are descended from lions.